Hello, I am Bashar Bizra, consultant ENT facial plastic surgeon. I published my textbook on rhinoplasty, facial plastic surgery in 2002. The book has more than 500 pages and 1,000 illustrations. The textbook was forwarded by the presidents of the American and European Academies of Facial Plastic Surgery and was distributed worldwide. I hope you find these videos are very interesting. It's designed mainly for uh, surgeons, plastic surgeons and ENT and facial plastic surgeons. It's professional and educational. It presents my approach, my school, the business school of rhinoplasty. Uh, you are most welcome and I hope you find it very interesting. Now this is an interesting case of crooked deviated nose. As you see the patient has got very clear deviation to the right side with tip asymmetry, asymmetrical tip and uh, coded dislocation, coded dislocation and docked airways and the profile is not bad. So we are going to consider septorhinoplasty. So it will involve the procedure septoplasty, correction of the caudal septum, it will um, uh, include tip plasty and uh, uh, left spreader graft and bilateral osteotomies. Okay, hope you enjoy the procedure. So we identify now the tip defining point before we start. I mean the junction between intermediate and medial core. That's it. The junction between intermediate and medial core. Can be more more injection operation under local with sedation. The patient already has local and sedation. We just give some more, especially at the osteotomy line. So the patient got uh, right coded dislocation, as you see there. So we start the procedure with doing the septoblasty and correcting the right caudal dislocation. So we go just behind the caudal septum. I'm searching, searching for the right plane and that's it. So we just try to reduce the flap on the left side, as you see now. We go back, 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 up, and back all the way through. That's what, so we just elevated the flap on one side. And we we'll go now about one centimeter behind a little bit more. And with we'll the size the cartilage. I will look for the right plane again. We are in. I'm doing that. We are in the right plane, so elevating the recondal flap on the right side now. Everything goes quickly and easy because you are in the right plane, as you see now. And you have prepared the nose very nicely. The operation and the local activation. You can hear the patient snoring. So we go about 1.5 cm below the dorsum septum and we incise the cartilage and we get this crooked and angled part of the septum. So, which is helpful to be used as, for, as a graft in later. We need columnar struts, we need tip graft, we need spreader graft. We need also good afternoon for this patient in order to get a straight nose. Suction please. Okay. And down to the bone. Get this angle bulk. Up. On the bone and then the system will go on the cartilage above the maxillary crest. Uh, 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 we 
got it out. It's Makratli over the Madrid case. Now we should have achieved a very, very good, and this is the Vomer, part of the Vomer. Nice, nice, you see, oh, the flap intact, you see the flap inside intact. And the flap on the other side are intact. Okay. Give me a knife, no? So we just go remove this, the foot of this swinging flap here, in order to mobilize the flap and correct the coded dislocation, small piece. This will give free, free movement. And this is code that will be sutured by this later. You see, the code of dislocation being corrected, the septoplasty being done. How many minutes since we start the procedure? Five minutes. Five minutes. We have done, we thank God. We have done full rhinoblasty. Full, sorry, full septoplasty. Full septoplasty and correction of the code of dislocation as you see now. Okay, very nice. Now we start uh, our rhinoblasty. Catherine's incision, mid cataract and towards the midline. Again, mid cataract towards the midline. Avoid doing lateral. You need to go to the stage in the midline. And the mine is the dorsum with blood scissors. of the abalafra cartilage we get in the mucosa away here and remove only part of the curvature of the abalafra cartilage alright this will reduce the superalar fullness there's no much curvature on this side no much curvature this is bit angle and we make an incision half what you see always for the hump half what you see so you do not over size the hump especially with these crooks noses you always born overlapping so do not try to over size the hump and now gently trying to get the bone As you see in one piece, that's very important, very nice. That's will that's will reduce the irregularity. I will not take much, it's quite thin, as you see, it's very thin. So there is no much being taken. Now with us we'll smooth the dorsum. Now we deal with the tip, the hook. So 
the junction between the intermediate and medial cura will divide obliquely, preserving the limb cartilage. Again, junction between intermediate and uh, intermediate and lateral cura will divide obliquely and preserve the limb cartilage. Divide both to one side. Both delivered to one side, both intermediate and part of the medial core are delivered to one side. Preserving fully the lateral cast. So the lateral cast is left in place. No marginal incision and no delivery and no screaming. And in order to support the tip and create a new door, a new a new a new tip, a new dome, we just make a pocket in between the two medial core. Okay, and we will go back to our cartilage. We have one maybe as a low summit graft, one as a fifty graft, and one as a terminal graft. Let's start it will go. Let me start it again. Start it. So the coronal nerve start will go in place. in the middle, we try and create strong structure in the middle, strong tip. a bucket and the midline for the tip of okay. Nice. So we have now very strong structure in the midline. This is new new dome, new strong dome. Will give us adequate tip projection, tip elevation, tip support. Tip definition, tip refinement, give the tip under projection, support the columella, and stretch the columella. The patient has got called a dislocation, so he has weak columella, so he has given very strong and good support to the columella with these structures in the midline. Compensate for the loss of Tip support caused by our incisions and excisions. So it's an excellent technique. Straightforward. Achieve your goals. What do you goals? Your goal is to achieve adequate tip support, to achieve a balanced nose, to achieve a symmetrical nose with baited airway. And what we are doing in, in a short time. In less than 40 minutes, in less than 45 minutes, in less than one hour, sometimes in 10 minutes, in 30 minutes, depends on the chassis. Depends on the situation, but most of our cases really it takes about 30 minutes only. 
So this Russia is back to the midline now. Okay. And we look at the upper class now. See that the upper class is very nice, left in place, no exposure, no delivery. The patient has both no structure and nose. The upper class is in place. Very nice, strong upper class. As you see, no marginal incision, no exposure. Only a retrieving this sharp edge. Small bulging there, so she's like a dog ear if that's a class. So we do a cura of our latex beneath in the nasally. So we just elevate the mucosa of the skin on this side, open, open as you see, and then 10 years ago, 90 degrees, and divide the cartilage. And get it to overlap. You see, we reduce the fullness on this side. That's enough. Let's see here if we need. Yeah, it's not needed on this side, only this side. And then, because the nose is deviated to the left side, we will consider a small speeder graph in this area. And you see now how I am going to put my speeder graph. You don't have to put it in a very complicated way. We just make an exact pocket to go. So the speeder graph will go there uh, between the upper upper cartilage and the dorsal septum. So we go inside and we just visualize the upper upper cartilage as you see. Can be nice. And you make small nick, small nick incision just up under the cartilage above the mucosa. It's a junction between the dorsal septum and the And the cartilage under the cartilage. Okay. okay. So we our speed of graph. You see now? You see there? Will be our, our speed of graph there. So you don't have to be complicated with the external approach and but make exact look at get sharp you know again. See now? And we get a photograph to go there. We have plenty of photographs. Okay. Okay. And so we go there. Enough is there, you see, you see, the graph there, you see, it's, it's filling this area, that's what we want, filling the concave part of the dorsal septum, so it's achieving it, it, its goals, and it's under the cartilage, under the cartilage, as you see, it's under, under the cartilage, under the cartilage, above the mucosa, so we get the suction and fix it to the suction now. Make sure it will not slip. Easy, simple, straightforward procedure. How to use this spider graph and put it in a place without doing external approach and complicated situation and you spend hours. You see now, everything in place there. As you see, everything in place and uh, sutured, closed. And look from outside, we fill this concave part of the dorsal septum with the cartilage in order to achieve balance and symmetry. And now we should try this in a place. Give me the uh, one second. I will make a small pocket here. 
If you, see, now, if you look from up, look from up, that we need another speeder graph on the left side to achieve symmetry. We put speeder graph in, to remind the position there. So it would be better, it would be better to consider also a left speeder graph because the patient has hump reduction. So a better speeder graph may be advisable in this case. So. Wait, wait. Give me knife again and give me the speculum and give me the calculator to have this. So again, this is the abaratal cartilage, the junction between the dorsum septum and the abaratal cartilage you make smallness between the cartilage and the mucosa. You see, I'm going there into this area and with the sharp scissors. between the cartilage and then we get now more, more we have enough cartilage there more deep and we push this one into this pocket which we already made. suture it now. So it went inside and we suture it, make sure it stay inside. So easy, straightforward. Insertion of speeder graph, exact pocket between the cartridge I mean the abaratal cartilage and the mucosa below exact pocket at the level of the dorsum septum and pushing the speeder graph in between and then closing the incision with the suture going through the graph in order to keep it in place. See now much better. It's now achieved nice more symmetry now. More symmetry in this area. By using the bilateral speeder graph. So this case is very nice. The patient has everything. He has got deviation, he has got hum, deviated septum, coda dislocation. So he had uh, septoblastic, correction of right coda dislocation. He had hum reduction, tip blasty, bilateral speed graph. So the patient has got everything. And then we cover this raw area following the hump reduction with a piece of fascia data, the right fascia data homograph, mm -hmm. as you see. Now. Mm -hmm. So, be, after a few minutes, it will be soft in the blood and become very soft. So, we'll go there and push it. I will spread it over with this, make sure it's spread over, it's not kinked anywhere. So that's it. So we got now very nice little, we can organize it back out, you see no bleeding. How many minutes now since we started? 30 minutes, exactly 30 minutes. You have done full round of blasting, you achieved your goal. You achieved ba balanced nose, symmetrical nose, straight nose, supportive tip with cartilage, new dome. 
Kona mella l-fraq, tib il-graf, barjet ta' speed al-graf, sitto blasti, correction of code dislocation, hum reduction, osteotomies, everything in 30 minutes. It's a magic procedure on blasti. So, remind you of the situation again, a very a wide asymmetrical tip, as you see, wide asymmetrical tip, the nose is fully deviated to the right side, with mild hump, mild hump, and as you see now, the tip is symmetry, the caudal dislocation, the caudal dislocation, the embedded airway. So we have done full symptomatoplasty in 30 minutes. You see now, the patient has got a very nice, very nice dorsum, very nice straight dorsum. We did hump reduction, very nice straight dorsum, a very nice tip projection, tip elevation, tip rotation. We did tip blasty, full tip blasty. We collected the coda dislocation. We fully corrected the coda dislocation. No more dislocated cartilage there. I see a very nice symmetrical tip, as you see, very nice symmetrical tip, very nice symmetrical cartilage, dorsum by using bagatella speed graft, and the hump reduction was putting also fascia lata on top to camouflage any, any irregularities and any roughness. So the operation in 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes, we achieved all our goals. We have done septal anoblasty with patient has two, uh, two benefits of this procedure, the cosmetic and the functional. This is Basha Bizra from BMC in London and Dubai. Thank you.